Hi guys, this time I would like to show you how does the control system for the BMS of the battery pack works and also a small update on the on the work of the car itself and how how many kilometers I've already done in electric mode. So let's get to it. Right, this is how many kilometers I've done lately in electric mode. I've done 70 kilometers and the consumption is zero. So zero liters of, of petrol I've needed to, to cover. Which is quite good. I'm, I'm satisfied so far with the result. Another thing you might have noticed is that red indicator there. And there are some others. There's a check engine there. And also, I don't know if you can see it, here there's a so-called triangle of death. Uh, so the previous owners know that. Well, basically that the car is fine and it's, it's nothing else but previous computer detects that there's another circuit of batteries added to its uh, own circuit and it says there's something wrong. Well, there's nothing wrong. It just indicates this extra circuit and well we don't mind we just drive in electric mode and it's fine so it's it, it always shows in, in two places here in the touch screen and over there on the dashboard but for the for the previous you can just ignore it because you know what's what's the source of those errors Right, now I would like to show you how the BMS system works. I'm using Everett Energy System, uh, which is called Orion BMS, and it comes with pretty handy software. For the Linux users, I would advise that you start your software with the root or super user root, um, or super user, else there's a problem, at least that's the one that I encountered, that you won't be able to connect to your BMS system via the CAN adapter. And in the in this in the root or, or root root privileges or super user, it is available and you can connect to it. So basically that software provides you all the information that you need. Let's go to the first uh, window. Well, here you can install and, and give all the parameters for your battery. That means like <coughs> you, you, you specify what cells you're using, you specify what the total amperage of, uh, of each cell, and you set up which exactly cells you use, either, well basically you specify it by, uh, by the voltage. But uh, once you do the, uh, once you use the, the the master, the wizard master to specify a battery from the beginning, when you just have installed the software, it would also prompt you to select which battery uh, chemistry you use. I've done that before, so I've done all the triggering that I need, and it's all specified here. You can also uh, put the SOC parameters in in your um, software for your BMS and like plenty of, of the other settings. So for the Everett Energy System uh, users, you can you use that software, which is quite handy, I find. There is also one <coughs> good thing that I found, uh, which is the diagnostic trouble codes when. Uh, I had many I had many issues with my battery from the beginning um, when I had some connection problems when um, the, the there was no correct con connection to between the BMS and the battery so the BMS was also throwing uh, some codes and they were also like all of them that were shown here well I it was quite handy so I could uh, 
connect the, 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 the people who produced it and they gave me quite good replies so how can I address that and or that problem so I quite liked it there's another window where you can see all the parameters all the basic and the important parameters for your battery and for the whole of your system uh, well here you, you see the basic parameters and it gives you an idea about how hot or cold your battery is what's the voltage of each cell and or the voltage of highest and lowest cell it shows you what's your uh, current draw from your battery right? and it's all life and it shows you the, also the voltages of your battery pack the voltage of your uh, main system the 12 volt uh, in your car you can also select the parameter which you want to see uh, as as a graph so basically this is very important when you want to adapt all the um, settings for a battery while you do the testing on the road so basically that gives you a, a rough estimation what and where uh, you, you, you can change your parameters and whether they suit your uh, conditions and here you can also see all the live cells so in my case I've got 84 cells and you can see the voltage for all of them which is quite handy <coughs> because for example when you've got uh, a couple of, of cells uh, unbalanced and in my case I do have those it's like I've got the, the cell number 16 is the lowest one so I, get to, I need to, to balance it and uh, if the cell is faulty or if the cell is weak I would also know it from here so then I then I would know what to do with it, either replace or um, or do something about it to, to, to get it uh, close to the needed values of the voltage. So it, it also shows like the, the SOC of your pack, the current draw, the voltages and the, the resistance. Yeah, that would uh, conclude the update for this time. So please let me know what, what you think and whether you have your own experience with Everett, Everett BMS systems. Yeah, and goodbye.